Ciao a tutti, guys. Welcome to the second episode for the overlaps here on Twitch. Here with me, there are two, two really amazing guests, as the previous episode. I have with me Brandon Lee, two times world champion. Ciao, Brandon. Ciao, everyone. And David Tonizza, one time eSports champions, F1 eSports champions on 2019. Uh, 2019. Like 2019, insomma. Like this uh, looks like I am literally <laughs> like, okay. First time. Two time. First time. <laughs> first time. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. For two times. You are just one time. Let's say that we are three in together. Yes, three together. Yes. Three together, <laughs> not with Ferrari. This is not good. Brandon, you exactly can go just came spot. out. How are you guys? How was the weekend? Absolutely terrible. Well. When running, nah, it was a good weekend. <laughs> Very terrible for me, but for real, because it's too hot. The, this weekend yeah, it was too, too hot. You're an Italian. Uh, I'm an English hot. guy who's used to the rain, and you're complaining that it's too hot. <laughs> that was 42 degrees. Yes, man. this weekend was like um, 42. I went running, it was good. Yes, and 6 a.m. I, I can imagine. So. Yeah, I'm on about the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Anyway, guys, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, a really interesting topic about sim racing versus real racing uh, i know we know uh, that you are uh, uh, experience you have experience in both you also but uh, in go-kart but yeah. maybe long then time ago a <laughs> long time ago so how uh, i think that we can uh, already launch the title we can go probably yes <laughs> maybe, maybe yes <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> Yeah, there are a lot of things to say. A lot of things to say. So we need to launch the title, mate. I can launch the title? Let's go! <laughs> so, you were saying about sim, ra sim racing and real racing. Okay. But um, the main factor that influences uh, sim driver uh, performance compared to the real, for sure, for, for you. And then I want to split with David some question. I, I think the main factor in sim racing, sim racing is more repeating the lap hundred in practice. So before an F1 eSports event, we will do hundreds, if not thousands of lap of practice. Let's take Australia, for example. We'll do thousands of lap of practice. and. It's really the job of the person who can get the best setup fine-tuned and who can recreate the lap time from practice at home. Whereas real-life racing, you have different temperature, different track uh, temperature, different air temperature, different rubber on the track as well, what can be influencing. Formula 1, the support series, does lay down different rubber. You hear the commentators say it a little bit that the Formula 1 rubber does give off the best, whereas if there has been a GT car series, it be, can be changing the grip levels of the track. So I think... Real life racing, you need more adaptation. Sim racing is more about repeating the exercise that you did in practice. Sounds good. And what about the place to, to be? Uh, you prefer to be maybe in the remote, uh, remote place or on site? Well, me do, do, obviously doing the eSport competition. Yeah, me, me personally, I, you already know, maybe you, you already know as well that I prefer to, to race on site with the, all the drivers. Uh, but mainly because, you know, there is that factor that you were talking about so that you have to adapt like in real racing. So there is more, more of a real race inside sim yes. racing. So, of course, when you are in your, in your house or in the um, facility of the company, you have a lot of training, you are with your simulator, you know exactly what is going to happen on your rig. So there is literally no, let's say, no factors that can, uh, um, that can uh, make you do a mistake. Uh, of course, there is mistakes and everything, but uh, let's say less chance. Like uh, yes. in your simulator, there is less chance. Uh, so that's why I prefer uh, on-site. You have to adapt as fast as possible. And uh, there you can see also the skills of uh, adapting from, from driver to driver. I have to say as well, the better part is the after party. Of course, also that. <laughs> in, uh, 
<laughs> in online on, online events, the after party is okay, but not so good. If the after party can be in London after F1 esports, can be pretty good. Yes, but we have also we have every time sushi after the <laughs> the race. So I know this is it's why a good party. We need we need to have better parties. Mm, okay, but um, I was wondering why why don't don't explain maybe or don't tell uh, the story about your uh, real racing, what you did, and also what you for the Twitch viewers. Okay. So Brandon, tell me your life. Tell me my life. Well, I was born in <laughs> Reading. About no, um, about, about racing. So uh, <laughs> real racing. Well, I mean, 2019, I got the chance to race F1600 in the UK. Uh, it was the hardest championship for this car category. Mm. Is actually in the UK. It's all around the world. I did four race weekends in total, and I won the Rookie Cup uh, races out of that. I think seven or six times out of 11 opportunities. Um, first time crashing was, I think, 26 G G-Force when the brakes failed at turn one at Snetterton. Um, wow. So it was a good experience. I actually <laughs> learned how strong a real car is at that point, uh, because before you have your first crash, I think is common, like, is it gonna hurt? What's gonna happen? You know me, full send, we all or nothing. Flash? No, we just put the flashback uh, on, on uh, Formula you, 1. On. You know, um, <laughs> this is something I don't tell that much publicly. So uh, the marshal who was on the marshal point at Turn 1 to Finetton said, hurts a bit more than a video game, doesn't it? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> as I finished the crash, he came over um, and they even took me to the medical center on this one. And literally, as I was putting me into the ambulance, that's when he said it. And I was like... <laughs> Great. Cheers. I really appreciate this. I, I, I'm going to find you and thank you so much for your lovely comments <laughs> later. Um, but no, I think it was a good opportunity to go real life racing. I've also tested British F4 um, with a junior category team that, of course, um, is a rival to Prema, let's say. Um, on that day, I went with Zane Maloney and I matched his lap times in British F4. He went on to win the championship that year so as well. So... There was an opportunity to do two races, the first race at Brands Hatch. I can't remember where the second race would have been. Uh, so that's a bit of a what if situation, what could have been. But I'm happy with what I've achieved in real life racing so far. So far. <laughs> so and far. what about you, David? Well, unfortunately, I cannot say the same because I didn't have that much of opportunity. Like uh, you mentioned, you had very cool experiences with the very powerful cars. Uh, unfortunately, I only experienced go cars when yes. I was uh, a kid, so um, it Taller was fun. Than the, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so of course it was fun because uh, you know I always um, even even in sim racing, what I forgot to say also before that I, I used to love traveling uh, when going on site, and the same was even with karting. Like uh, I enjoyed uh, waking up in the morning uh, very early, uh, go in the track, start preparing the kart with my dad and my brother and everything. So. The whole background is what I also love about uh, real motorsport, and uh, of course in uh, in the races it was just enjoying uh, enjoying the car because uh, you know cars are very fun and even uh, if it's not the uh, the car that I was driving when I was a kid okay. wasn't that powerful because it was I, I was in the junior category. I still enjoyed a lot, and uh, of course if I would have the chance to to go back in karting immediately because they are so they they are so fun. Wow. Uh, one day you told me that you you beaten the the son of Mika Akinen, no? No, uh, it was a similar story. Uh, it, so there was the, um, as you saw, uh, as you said, the son of uh, Mika Akinen in Viterbo, so my born city. Yeah. Because there there is a track Near that uh, exactly okay. it's uh, it's an international track, so they did, they do a lot of uh, karting championships. And uh, that day uh, we spotted the uh, Akinen going with a bike in the in the paddock. And Who's uh, Akinen? Mika Akinen. Who yes. is that? Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> so we we realized watching the timetable that there was his son. And uh, that day we, we looked a bit at the time uh, time label. And uh, apparently the our my lap time and uh, my brother's lap time were better than uh, than him. So <laughs> I we, we, we could have been in that race at least. I, I mean, I learned something new today. I didn't even know Mika Hakkinen had a son. So oh, okay. Well, I, I learned did, something new. I didn't know the, that either <laughs> when I was there uh, in the track, but uh, now but we both now know. We now we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, come back on the on the virtual because uh, the the main dif one of the main difference I think from virtual to real is the equipments. Uh, obviously, um, there's the Formula One car. They are using the same car for 
an entire year, they, then they swap, they, they change the car, the, the car. But you, when you go maybe uh, ov over the facility, uh, when you go on site, uh, there's a lot of uh, changes, no? Well, I think I have to slightly disagree on that one hmm. because I think, yes, in Formula One is a bit of a different example because, of course, the car develops oh, throughout the yeah. season. So maybe they have a different wing on the car, what can be a different feeling. No, I, but I, I, mean, uh, I mean, just the cockpit. Yeah, the, I mean, the seat and the but also it gets taken apart and gets put together every single time. So well, yes. more or less yeah. will feel like 99.999% the same, but can also be that small variance as well that um, in junior categories as well, uh, before I think FIF3, you're going to have a foam seat. I think from FIF3, you have a carbon fiber seat upwards. Uh, we can confirm that later uh, with a special guest. Um, but of course, the foam can expand or shrink depending on temperature. Um, but I think... Like you say, in sim racing, you become so bonded with that your equipment. Uh, so, for example, we have Thrustmaster behind us, and we spend so many hours on the simulator that effectively the hand grips mold to what we have on our hand. So we wear down the equipment to feel perfectly for mm -hmm. how we have it. For example, I don't like brand new Alcantara. For me, it makes my hands dry. So when we go to F1 esports events, I have to adapt my style or bring like. Uh, like how, how do you say it, a hand moisturizer to compensate for that. So there's all these little nuance of details that make the difference between winning a championship. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we, can do, we can make him do the live stream alone because it would take, uh, <laughs> yes, it would talk for like two hours. Minutes of, uh, <laughs> solo. Perfect. But you introduced the Formula 3 car. Yes. I want to introduce the Formula 3 driver. He is just... 21 years old, he's so, he's so young, and I'm talking about Hartford, Arthur, Hartford, I don't know, <laughs> maybe, maybe he can explain Leclerc. <laughs> okay. Mate, it's Arthur, Arthur, it's, it's, it's difficult. Arturo? Arturo. <laughs> no, Arturo Le no. I don't even know how to pronounce it in English, actually. So It's, Ar it's Arturo. Uh, but, uh, ah, in English, sorry. In English, Arthur. it's Alpha. But it's, ah. it takes me a lot, a long time like to, to adapt to it because my English teacher was saying it in a weird way. <laughs> but in French, it's uh, Arthur. Arthur. Yeah, well, it's okay. C can you, can you <laughs> spell it? Can you, can you say it? Huh? Alpha. No, non alpha. Yeah, it's, it's a bit <laughs> this. When I was young, I was never understanding <laughs> when <laughs> someone was calling me in English. Okay, anyway, I learned the so proper weird. way. For next time, I learned the proper yeah, way. I would have French. preferred to be called Jack. It's easier in every language. So. Anyway, Arturo, <laughs> I will call you uh, Arturo. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good. I'm in, uh, a bit hungry, so I had to come. Uh, <laughs> I had to come here, but uh, I didn't eat yet, so I'm really hungry. At the no, let's do. Let's uh, let's. Take a sushi and then, then sushi. after the live. Yeah, if pasta you can, uh, or pizza. Yeah. Pasta, pizza. <laughs> I need to lose weight, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> great, great. Um, we were talking about the obviously um, difference from sim racing and and real racing. I know that you were practicing uh, a lot <laughs> sim racing mm -hmm. during the lockdown, and maybe um, later I want I want to ask you if you stay on the sim. But uh, tell uh, tell us how you started um, your career in the real life. Well, me, uh, I had a bit of a different career than most of the drivers here. Um, or I mean, at, in Formula 3, at least. I started really late, so I started in 2018, uh, like officially, uh, in Formula 4. My first full season before that was only four races and in 2014 uh, in karting. So it was uh, yeah, quite a long time ago. Uh, I won this championship, I remember. And then, yeah, after I did uh, two years of Formula 4, one year of Formula Regional, and now uh, two years of Formula 3, and uh, yeah, it's going, it's going pretty well at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so you, you won uh, in uh, Silverstone. Uh, you are uh, currently in P3, no? In the standings? P3, seven, seven points behind. Uh, seven points, so you really are really close. close. <laughs> really close. <laughs> and you won also the Regional, the ASEAN, no? Yeah, in the beginning of the year. So, this is really good. But what is your relationship with, with the sim racing? Well, I mean, uh, not in this time, I don't have so much uh, time to focus on yeah, sim so racing yeah. and everything. Mostly, me sim racing, I'm doing it with the team to prepare an event. So to discovering track, uh, discover track and 
and everything it's much more for the walk than for entertaining there is uh, yeah the sim racing like we did during uh, the um, the lockdown uh, of covid uh, yeah and then was uh, was quite good i mean i'm playing f1 20 21 was at the time now in 2022 and uh, yeah enjoy quite uh, quite a lot there oh, okay okay so you you don't try a lot the 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 track before uh, before go in real in real it's mostly with the team so it's not so much in uh, f1 2022 uh, it's mostly Obviously, with the yeah. team that got his own team uh, in prema so we are doing yeah, some laps and uh, generally we try to stick really with the um, with the free practice, quali and uh, race, but we cannot reproduce race uh, at the moment because we don't have all the degradation and everything. But uh, yeah, we try to stick to, by example, two push per session, which okay. is uh, not so much what you are doing when you are playing uh, F1, F1 2022 or whatever. But uh, yeah, we try to, to stick to a plan. But you, um, you, you ever played a video game before? Uh, I mean, um, maybe other the um, over the um, racing video games you like play yeah i, I really enjoy play uh, and i mean uh, at least when i was uh, when i was young when i couldn't um, afford to be in motorsport because yeah. my father didn't have the the money to make around charles and myself i was really into the sim racing because yeah i mean f it was a lot cheaper than uh, obviously to play a season of karting so i have a simulator and i was playing project cars at the moment. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing quite a lot, actually. And uh, yeah, I remember even there was a kind of a race every week when you could uh, win uh, 50 euros Fuck. that I won quite a lot. So I was really happy. I was training <laughs> only for that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I was spending quite a lot of time in the sim during this uh, period of no motorsport because, yeah, just I was enjoying and loving racing and I was against some uh, some real drivers as well so i was really enjoying it ah really really good uh, th this is really good and your your favorite your favorite video game maybe i mean it goes back to when i was a kid like five or six years old and yeah, two years ATV. Ago. yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, i had a big growth spurt you really caught caught me off guard that was actually a really good one <laughs> to be fair how long was you thinking for that no, uh, just now instant yes mate. i have to buy you a pizza because that's now <laughs> in, in english in <laughs> Okay, I, <laughs> this was Next actually really good. It. This was actually really good. I was not expecting this from you. <laughs> you need to get like a replay of my face because it was <laughs> yes. like, okay, wow. Um, but as as a kid, MX vs ATV Untamed, I did motocross as a kid, and that's still my passion. Once I'm done driving cars around in circles, I want to go back to motocross as well. Uh, so that's definitely still my favorite game, even if it was from 2005. And for you, David? Cool. Well, when I was uh, still now, but more when I was uh, younger, I used to play a lot of uh, first-person shooters, so I enjoy them a lot. But uh, my favorite game is pretty recent, and uh, it's The Last of Us, which I also did a, a tattoo in my arm, which unfortunately had, let's say, an allergy, but that's a <laughs> different story. <laughs> uh, let's say that I was trying to emulate the, the game with the allergy and trying to die, but, uh, <laughs> no. but yes, that's my favorite game. Okay. Uh, one really important question. Um, what are the main differences between a uh, sim driver, a sim racing driver, and a driver um, when you go on track? I mean, you have the mindset of both. You maybe also, but more uh, on the racing. You more, you more on the sim racing part. But when you go on track, virtual or real, I wanna see. I, I wanna, I wanna hear uh, from you. Um, what are you thinking? And then from Arthur. Well, how good the after party is going to be. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think that's it for today. Ah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're thinking about apexes and you're thinking about data, nah, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, I you start know? to like you. <laughs> yeah, you, you. Thank you, thank you, too. <laughs> this is the best way. That's your answer. Yeah. Yes, no, no, no. Let's, let's remain okay. like this. Uh, well, I will let's give see after the first race of the <laughs> season. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, no, in my opinion, uh, uh, even if I'm not that much now into real racing, uh, what I think is the main difference when you go on track for the first time, let's say, uh, in sim racing, you know, you can hit the wall, you can crash uh, as many times as you want. So 
of course, when you go on track, you find you try to find the performance immediately. Even if in the first lap you go straight into the wall, that's uh, what we usually try, no? To to try the f the <laughs> best performance <laughs> since the very first lap. You do you, mate. <laughs> you do you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Meanwhile, in real racing, you you cannot just go out on track and fully send it and, and crash. So I think the the main difference. The first time you you hit the track is that uh, you go more conservative and then you you push more and more and more till you find the limit. In sim racing, it's the opposite. You push, you go into the wall, you go slower and you find mm. the limit. <laughs> I, I think this is more your approach then. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's 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 how we we train. Yeah, we just crash into each other all training. That's the best way. Uh, yes, but uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> there, is, there is actually an element of truth to be fair. Yes, there during is. the training you laugh and during the race you. Crash. Right. You, crash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. you know, you, in training, you, you you hit your PB. You're like, wow, this is so good. Qualify 20th. <laughs> <laughs> good job. <laughs> and what about the real life, mate? When, when you go on track? No, I have to say that uh, you, are, you are not wrong about uh, the walls. Uh, then it's something that's never crossed my mind when I'm racing. So, so it's, yeah, I mean, it's something that I don't think at all when I when I'm racing, then I think the difference is that in sim racing you can always like uh, yeah you can play the game whenever you want you can uh, race whenever you want as well. So of course I mean if you go to a race you know which tire will degrade uh, like the degradation you can know uh, yeah you know how to drive it and it's always the same. It's just the result of a big amount of practice and um, and yeah and that's that's how it is. Then in real it's a bit more about adapting you to the car. Uh, and then every time you go out on track, every time there is something different. Uh, it's, uh, it's really hard because the t temperature are changing, which can change the, the warm-up procedure as well. So the grips yes. and then the setup and the way to drive the car as well massively. And when you go to the race, well, it's in Formula 3, sometimes you don't even know which tire you will uh, degrade first. So it's really about managing all these tools, so the brake balance, because you can uh, manage a bit the heat where you, you put the heat in the tires and everything. So with all the tools you have to, to adapt to a car and to make it as fast as possible. So it's, uh, yeah, it's just, I think, a bit more adapting um, approach in real life and than, um, than sim racing when you can practice a lot more. You don't have the AHD on the, on the right. The, the, thing, the percentile of the, the tire wear. <laughs> that it is, uh, no, 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 okay. no you, we don't have that. You have to feel it. And which, which are, or which is the, the thing that distract you most, mostly on, on racing, or before racing, maybe the people, maybe, I don't know. No, f I mean, uh, nothing really. I mean, uh, b before session, I'm always focused and uh, projecting me uh, into the session, so imagining me do the lap, but like I said, you can you you can never expect too much something because you have always something different than what you you did before. So uh, yeah, I mean, mostly is to to adapt to all the situations, and I think okay. it's mostly what I I try to do as well as a driver to be better every day on that, and uh, and yeah, it's mostly about to adapt situations. Yeah. What about you guys in the sim racing part? Uh, the after party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> why, 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 why we don't maybe do a before party? I don't know mm. if uh, it's called it like <laughs> that. Then we see four apexes, not two. <laughs> 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 that's, that, that's right. <laughs> so for you, it's the after party. Yes. Okay. It, it may can distract you. Yes. Okay, and for you, David? <laughs> now, for me, uh, the thing that uh, distracts me the most, um, it's my, let's say, um, field of view. Because when I am in the simulator, of course, I have the screen in front of me, but uh, we can also see, everyone can mm. also see also a bit the background, someone maybe walking. So you, you can see even a little shadow, uh, a fly going, uh, going uh, in, in, in front of your uh, field of view. So that's what distracts me the most. Even if um, th even the smallest thing, if I see something moving and it's not stable like in, uh, in the monitor, it, it uh, annoys me so much. And uh, in 2019, in, um, in London, when we were racing uh, on site, okay. another thing that was distracting me a lot was the, you know where we were racing the, the let's say, platform? Uh, okay. We were in the, in the top boom, spot. Boom, boom, yeah. in boom. The exactly. <laughs> when people were walking, there was literally like an earthquake. <laughs> I, and, and, and that's even more than the, the, the visual. I started laughing because the way you turned to me was like, 
the thing that distracted me most was you. You. <laughs> <laughs> the way you turned, I was like, what did I do? <laughs> I didn't mean that, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's what distracted me the most. Ah, okay, okay. Um, just to uh, question for you, uh, Arthur, your favorite track? I want to see. I want to. Uh, it's a difficult one. Um, I. So I really enjoy Imola, but for one lap, uh, so for, for qualifying, then actually for racing is a bit more difficult. And then, uh, I mean, what I wish since I'm young is to, to drive in Monaco uh, with, the, with the home crowd. Of course, I mean, I think I will stay around Italy and Monaco because that's where you have the home crowd, all the Tifosi, and it's just something that makes the Grand Prix so much better, like to have uh, people supporting you. All, uh, all in red is, yeah, it's just, it's just incredible. So I think I will stick to this three. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, Monaco is in the game. Uh, Imola is in the game. Next time, uh, you will jump in that sim. You, you will, uh, I think, compete with them. <laughs> I think. Well, last can. time we, you, okay. we competed, you won. I remember in the in the museum. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> then you we also, the party. you lost yeah, also uh, last time, mate. Yes, I. You know, every time know, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Um, Mm -hmm. ah, well, no good. Well, ah. this shows that uh, there is correlation between real racing and sim racing. There, in that sim that where you have to adapt, you jump in and you win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have I to remember, adapt. I remember, yeah. exactly. Thank you, Arthur, for... Thanks to you. Thank you, really. Thank you. <laughs> it was really enjoyable. No, thank you very much to you and uh, good luck for, for this season. You thank you much, more. you as well. <laughs> I wish you a good dinner because uh, I see you. <laughs> you're dying of food, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have a great sushi. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, now, now um, we can talk with uh, David and the new guest, which, which was also already on the last episode, Camille. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> At least my name is easier to pronounce than it's Pavlovsky. 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 Camille. Can be Camille. 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 To see you here. How are you, mate? I'm very fine, thank you. How are you guys? Well, it's been a long time since we saw each other <laughs> the last time. <laughs> it passed literally an eternity. Yeah. How was the Literally life? five minutes. No, ten, ten, fifteen, maybe. Maybe yes, because uh, we we are live stream. Well, you were watching us behind the the scene, so well, for me. Yeah, you were watching us, no? Yeah, I exactly. Hope so. and you <laughs> that was a really interesting discussion. I was following oh, yes. it, and uh, it was a great one. Honestly, be between sim racing and real real life, uh, you have you had some real life experience. I do, yeah. Not a race start, but a couple of experiences on different tracks, like Laguna Seca, like Imola, ah, yes, uh, Willow Spring. Uh, this one is the most crazy one. You can't. Oh my God! You you went on Willow Spring oh, oh, for the world fastest gamer. Yes, exactly. Oh you God, cannot imagine this. how this track feels. It's so bumpy. It's so freaking bumpy and old. Really? Like on every corner, there's poor <laughs> poisoning. There's no curbs that you can attack because you will die. <laughs> so there's no grass. There's just a sand everywhere. And it is so a freaking fast track. Every corner is basically um, very high, let's say, downforce, very high speed okay, corner. So okay. Yeah, very scary one. <laughs> I, uh, I, I drove a lot of uh, Willow Springs uh, in the simulator, let's call it like that, and it was never like uh, so bumpy. So yeah, in reality, yeah, this wow. track, the, the track layout, the track surface feels like it was not uh, oh. uh, remounted for 100 of years. You feel like oh. driving on bumpy roads, uh, okay. very old bumpy road. Wow. But now let's talk about the upcoming race. You will go on Spa this week. I mean, uh, in just three days you will fly on Belgium. And is it your first time in Belgium? Uh, yes, it is. I was supposed to come last year. I remember. No, yes, last year. But uh, eventually it was just you going. <laughs> oh, <ooh. laughs> and you? For me, it's the third time actually, because I was on Zolder for a competition back then, many years ago in Project Cars. 
and uh, three years ago for SRO experts. Yes, I remember. You knew that Zolder was in Belgium. In Belgium, yes. Mm. <laughs> Say no. Okay. You said uh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I was confusing. Uh, I don't know why, but Zolder for me was in Austria. Uh, okay. <laughs> then, then I realized. I realized. <laughs> um, Spa Francorchamps. Do you know how many <laughs> kilometers are his? I have no clue. Spa? Seven. Let's guess. Same seven kilometers. Point seven okay. kilometers. Point zero zero. Two. No. 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 I tried. Four. Point four. Huh? Yes. Yes. Do you like this track? Well, we were discussing discussing this uh, even uh, with the each other and the Spa. No, it's not definitely my 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 favorite track, and uh, I, as I always say, it's probably because when I started racing on this uh, on this track, it was an F1, and um, the model that is now in F1 2022, it's still the same uh, from uh, F1 2010. Mm -hmm. So it's literally n not even Spa. So started driving from there, I started to grow my hate towards this track, <laughs> and even driving it uh, with the laser scan and uh, and driving it, let's say properly. I still don't don't enjoy it, even if it's a cool track. But it's probably my past with this uh, with this track that uh, influenced my way of uh, looking at this track. Yeah, we we always talk uh, about <laughs> the, um, the uh, about spa situation, spa exactly. spa circuit, etc. Spa gate, spa gate, spa gate, spa gate. Spa gate. Spa gate. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you? Do you like this track? Do, do you want to explain maybe which is the most difficult part mm -hmm. for you? Uh, yeah, it's funny. Like we have so much different racing style and so much different track uh, prefer uh, preferences. Preferences. Uh, for me, it's one of the best track. Actually, it has everything what a good track should have. It feels really smooth. Really uh, have a lot of fast corners, medium corners, and yeah, have every type of corner that you can basically have. Uh, it's um, how do you say it? Uh, the um, can you help me? Like the, uh, how do you feel on the training on this track? It's like, it's mm, uh, goosebumps. No, no, goosebumps. It's, it's a good <laughs> uh, goosebumps. Uh, is, uh, the it's song, a good no? word, uh, but um, oh, I just I'm looking for a word in English that <laughs> no, I cannot. No. Uh, you find, can but say in Polish. <laughs> no, no one will understand me. No, <laughs> uh, the, the how smooth the track is, <laughs> how smooth are the racing lines. Uh, this is one of the tracks I really enjoy racing on. Uh, the elevation changes are fantastic, and the whole um, the location of the track is beautiful. Yes, yeah, beautiful. And it's uh, there's a lot of oppor uh, overtaking opportunities on these tracks also. Uh, so yeah, definitely one of the tracks I really really prefer. And from the chat, well, what is your uh, uh, expectation for this race? Very big one because. Me and also David, as I heard in uh, when you were uh, having a conversation with the others, uh, we are really looking forward for the event, uh, especially that this is the live one, and it's so different. The, the environment of live racing is so much different than online. Uh, overall, there is no one of the competitors are in the in their comfort zone anymore. Everyone needs to adapt really, really fast to the new environment. So you have a couple of hours maybe to adapt to a new wheel, new pedals, new rig, new position. There is a million times more of things that can distract you because we are doing the race in the paddocks uh, during the real 24 hours race. So the engine noises around the track are there and they are very, very loud and it's uh, it's one of the distracting factors. Uh, mm -hmm. Overall, there there is. For me, I like this. I really love this. The environment of the live racing, and also feels that you're, like you when you race people online, it doesn't feel like you're racing with humans. It doesn't, you know, sound good, right now. But when you uh, race live and having all the competitors next to you on the rigs. It really feels <laughs> like you're racing with real human beings. And after you crash yes. someone, <laughs> you can confront them right after. So we can have a boxing match or <laughs> some hacks. Or yeah, but most of the times uh, uh, there's no uh, really uh, an opportunity to speak um, like you speaking in your you t your texting, no? Mm -hmm. So the, the the people are more cal more, more calm. But it not every time. 
I was enjoying so much in F1 Esports 2019 when they, you know, there was fighting, uh, people <laughs> screaming. Uh, it was very cool because th that's also part of the sport, you know. Like uh, you do a crash, and uh, in, uh, what you do when you are at home, you just text and say, "Oh, you," <laughs> you start insulting, and everything. No. <laughs> and you can do <laughs> it in, in person. real life. <laughs> if you can. No, in, re in real life, uh, this. This also can happen, but most of the times it's uh, part of that, o of the sport. You you go there, you start uh, saying, oh, listen, why you did this? And you start to confront yourself. It also, right, that yeah, is part of the sport. But in the right way, it's, I, I think. It's Even when there is some fight, it's uh, <laughs> it's it's good because you, you are there, you you are watching them <laughs> fighting, screaming, and, and start to wonder what happened between them. <laughs> but I think it's always better to have an um, uh, opportunity to speak, yes. no, not just exactly. text. Um, Camille said a really good point about the noise of the car. You, uh, For the first time ever, you will race uh, with the V8, they are running, 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 running. Honestly, I was there last year and there's a lot of noise, even with the headset. So prepare mm -hmm. yourself because this is a good point from Camille. Well, we already raced in France, but um, probably the mm -hmm. location was uh, was f more far from, yes. from the track. Yes, okay, yes, yes. So uh, I will ask, uh, I will bring my headphones, my specialized headphones with the 99, 99% <laughs> of uh, volume to, to destroy my uh, ears. Uh, yes, for, for sure. For I, I will be 100% focused with the audio of the game. When I will leave the rig, I will have blood coming from my ears, but uh, <laughs> at least I will not be, it get distracted. It will be worth it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can you explain to us and to the viewers, um, to me and to the viewers, uh, uh, what you're going to do exactly? Because there are... Uh, a different format, no? Uh, well, so starting off, if I uh, am correct, because I saw the, the schedule a uh, few days ago, uh, we will have the whole afternoon to to uh, get used to the simulators. Mm -hmm. I think it's like from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. And uh, after after that, we will have our official practice session, I think, which will probably be half an hour or something like that. And then we will switch in, into qualifying, which will be very tense because it's 15 minutes. 15 minutes and the track is long, really exactly. long. Exactly. Two minutes, uh, two, two minutes and thirty. It's just two tries, yes. two push, yes. Yes. two push, and probably one will be with three laps, yes. and then and the, the other one, with, one two, will with two, two. With two I laps. I already checked it. Yes, <laughs> I, I remember this from uh, from last year because uh, last year in SRO there was 15 minutes mm -hmm. of qualifying, so I remember. But this is not a, a real qualifying. Uh, exactly. This is the qualifying for the sprint race, and uh, then. Uh, the sprint race is literally l identical to the one in F1, uh, besides for the, the points, because mm -hmm. we will not get any points from this. It's going to be 30 minutes race, no pit stop, no mandatory, of course, you can stop, but it's uh, it's useless. If you stop, uh, it's because you crashed. Exactly. <laughs> so I wish no one, I mean, I wish everyone to, <laughs> beside my teammate, to, <laughs> to, to crash in the sprint, uh, in the sprint race. And, uh, and then the grid will be formed from the, from the, from the sprint race. So the, the actual race will start uh, immediately after. It's going to be one hour, uh, mandatory pit stop, uh, and that's it. One hour race, like in SRO, literally the same that we do every time. And the, ev the event is called? Ah, let's see if you are. Racing night, SRO race yes. night, something like this. That. The, the name on. for this competition is always the same. Remember, is in March there was the racing night, then during lockdown, the eSport racing night. Again, this is really cool. This is a good, uh, good we, point. We should put a, like, how, how do you call it? Like, uh, the registration? The, the, um, how do you say? Ah, the mark, the uh, tra trademark, no? Uh, oh. Trademark, yes, I think it's trademark. trademark. <laughs> when you put like uh, the racing night. Exactly, yeah. And are the are this uh, maybe uh, what uh, you you didn't race for the 24 hours uh, in the real life i mean but you can um, you can say that you won also the 24 hours you did some 24 hours i think yes Yes, yes, I in, did. In we won. We, we won. Yes, we won. SRO, we won the <laughs> the, the um, 24 hours and can you explain some way the difference between real virtual to real? I know it's difficult because you, you never, uh, but you maybe saw the um, the people in real life, the, the driver in real life, or maybe you saw some live streaming, some races, um, which is the most important thing and most impo most difference no? between the virtual to real? Mm, I think uh, the biggest difference between the sim racing and real racing is the actual physical, ex uh, how exhausted you are after uh, driving in real car. Because 
yeah, I experienced a bit of the racing in America. And oh my God, after 15 or 20 minutes of session, you are sweating like crazy in high temperatures and you're de dehydrated. Uh, you need a lot of water after just... So imagine after one, two hours of stint uh, in a real car, uh, this is a very, very high level of physical um, activity. In sim racing, it's also <laughs> uh, tiring, but not as much. Uh, but overall, you know, in, in real racing, you're driving a real car, so the difference is the mindset of, um, uh, you know, keeping it safe enough to not crash yourself, uh, to not crash uh, other driver because it involves a, rather a lot of money and health of each, each driver. But I think so also time, because I think that um, basically uh, a part of that, a part of the uh, no restart session or, stuff or flashback uh, or, <coughs> or stuff like that, the, the time, the time that you spend in the, in the garage, in the, in the pit stop, when you had a crash is so much bigger than the ACC. I mean, if you crash, and Definitely. I know that you heavily crash uh, sometime yeah. you know, on purpose, just to see the car, um, the, the, the time. passion of uh, looking at the car destroyed. Huh? I have a huge passion for no, the car No, 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 but, uh, but sometimes you need to do it because uh, we need to also register the time, yeah, no? Yeah. How many times? It's the maximum is th three minutes maybe, but obviously in, the, in real life, uh, they, they can also uh, finish the race after one meter after one hour and a half so this can be a uh, huge difference i was uh, laughing before because uh, <laughs> i was talking about uh, sweating uh, in uh, in the real car <laughs> <laughs> i was thinking about uh, yes but come in the simulator when it's summer 42 degrees outside and turn off mm -hmm. the ac so <laughs> try, so try in his camera without <laughs> the ac <and laughs> try one hour of scenes and then we we can talk about it <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> as you know guys um Last episode, Camille won by one second and a half. In um, we were in solder, we yes. went in um, green condition so, um, and wet. In green condition and wet. This time uh, we will not practice in, in spa because we are going. We are not want to show you our potential, your potential, <laughs> but also because maybe maybe you can be get distracted by something else. So um, there will be a new challenge, the right. same challenge before, okay. but. Let me introduce you the new challenge. Okay, okay, guys, I have here the same cards than before. Uh, Wait, I'm let's do the game I'm again. I'm already sweating. <laughs> let's do the game again between <laughs> you. Who picks first? I don't yeah. remember uh, who yeah, you How do you oh, call it in yes. Italy, like? Uh, yes. Um, Cart uh, Sasso Carta Forbici. Uh, come on, Sasso Carta Forbici. Sasso Carta Forbici. Sasso Carta Forbici. I'm going again. It's literally yeah. the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can start picking. Uh, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let me pick uh, this one because come I... Come on, no, it's, it's no, the same of last I, time. I don't know. Okay. Oh, oh okay. I, I oh, can oh, I it should be again? a long one. Can Mont Panorama. Mont Panorama. The challenge but will be simply not to crash the wall. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I think Let's this see is not what happened. Uh, track condition. Please get the wet condition. Please. Oh my god. Optimum. Optimum. Ah, okay. At least it it's optimum. Good. So best track, best um, yeah, rubber uh, track condition possible. So the time, uh, maybe. Oh, let's hope not midnight. No. Well, I hope so. Who's going to take? Last time we, it was you, so okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, dawn. Dawn. Mm, what time should we do? When is the dawn in? Uh, <laughs> good, <ACC>? question. <laughs> good question. In English, <laughs> dawn uh, is uh, the morning or the. No, 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 no. It's like at 6 p.m., 7 p.m., maybe. So I don't know in the game. Yes. Uh, it's exactly when the sun goes down. Go down. So let's check in Australia <laughs> when, <laughs> when the sun goes down. <laughs> never. <laughs> Probably never. Okay. We're going to go first in the uh, Last time it was me. So this time, so uh, this time is this you. Time yes. It's your turn. yes, this time is let's you. Let's try it. Let's try it. Can you Remember explain the challenge? Can you not crush the tell wall? Tell me maybe um, your, um, your preference about the, the track. 
my preference about this, the, this track, but do, do, oh, do but you like this track? I think. Uh, I mean, the track itself it's very, very, very tricky. Uh, I like it because, of course, it's uh, it's very hard to stay in. Uh, let's say to not eat the walls, not to stay on track. Because to stay on track, it's uh, <laughs> it should be something uh, like the base. Uh, but down uh, is morning. They they say that down is morning. Oh, so we, we were wrong, right? Yes, nice. messed up. We yes. have to do some <laughs> English lessons because we are literally. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was saying uh, uh, it's fun to drive, but uh, oh. unfortunately, uh, nothing to say about our car. But uh, with our car, it's a complete different experience, especially going down uh, downhill in the in the in the second sector because with the other cars. Even if you push um, a, boat a bit more with the setup okay. and you are a bit more aggressive, the car is still stable. Of course, there are cars that struggle a lot, but our car in particular, going uh, through the downhill, is very tricky to drive. And uh, most of the times, you just uh, hit the floor of the car and boom, straight into the wall. And not talking about wet conditions, because wet <laughs> conditions, there is a whole different uh, dimension. <laughs> like it's uh, the multiverse. Okay, okay. I am ready aggressive for the challenge. Aggressive setup, just one lap, mate. Yeah. Perfect. And for the viewers, wish David. me good luck. No, no good luck. <laughs> <laughs> and for the viewers, I picked uh, 7 a.m. So okay, it's perfect. I you think it's a you dump. Um, you you suggest to the people that are uh, watching us uh, to run with zero of rear wing or with 14, which is the maximum in this track. In this track. Ah. Uh, yeah. I mean, f maybe someone is down first time. Uh, no? In this track, well. They both not optimal, of course, uh, but uh, maybe 14 would be better because with 14 uh, you are 100% sure that you 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 will not crash in the in the in the second sector. Uh, but of course uh, you you will probably be slower than zero. But with zero it's going to be very uh, very hard in the in the in the downhill. Maybe for qualifying zero you can still run. You can adjust the setup a little bit and you can let's say not die in the <laughs> uh, in the walls. But uh, 14. Uh, definitely the the, the, the most oh, oh, the yeah, it, it I lost the challenge already. Yeah, <laughs> already. <up> the <laughs> <laughs> oh still. my god. Oh my god. That's the not an optimum See. racing line, I would say. Well, you want an optimum <laughs> there is the rubber outside the track and you eat the rubber. That's why you went... Uh, you you went get lapped, I think, because that <laughs> <laughs> there was an outline. <laughs> Like this is the exactly from 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 now onwards. But even the, the the last part of the first sector is is you go already very close to the walls. But this part in particular oh, is the the sun. The, the sun is another factor that the, if I if I could change if I could modify the code of the <laughs> the, the source code of the game, I would delete immediately because <laughs> it's something that uh, I I wonder. I mean I, I know for sure that it's like this also in real life. But uh, how much? I want to know if the reproduction of the windscreen in uh, in ACC is, uh, hmm. is good enough to represent the sun eating the literally the window, the front window. We can may ask to some uh, GT drivers in the future. Well, I saw I saw a picture of uh, David Perel okay. in uh, in the 24 hour of Le Mans. The photographer uh, literally took the moment that he was literally covering his eyes in the main state oh because he was, he was not seeing anything in the, with the sun. So I guess it's uh, even worse probably in, uh, in real life. Uh, so, except for the first part, the, the lap seems uh, quite good. Tamil, well, fortunately, you can, uh, you I can wouldn't mess say up in so. The last like, I just try to be as safe as possible. Let's say to not do another mistakes after the first one. Uh, little <laughs> catchy finish, but what is the lap time? Two zero eight nine. Two well, nine. definitely not the <laughs> level that we. Presenting the competitions. But Normally we do this on the wet on the wet condition. <laughs> 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 <Shh, laughs> silence. <laughs> yes, yeah, silence, silence. Uh, it's your, My turn. So it's your turn. I have a question nine. for you, David. Do you like this track? Because if the answer is no, then uh, it confirms that we have completely different track. <laughs> um, um, how do we like the track? Because it's another track that is one of my favorites. It's super, super challenging. But uh, the flow, oh, I was looking for the flow word when I was describing ah, the, the flow. spa. Okay. This uh, track also have a great flow, especially the down. You section. don't like this, this track? No, I love this ah, track as well. So, track? David, yeah. what is your ah, answer? Okay. Do you like this track? Uh, I do, but it's not one of my favorites, yeah. unfortunately. So but yeah, yeah, I do, this. but I do, I do enjoy this track. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy the track, no worries. So, how was the feeling? Because at least the track was an optimum. Uh, I mean, but you, 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 you really 
need to practice in this track, no? To get a, a good lap time. Yeah, exactly. On, on Bathurst, uh, it's all about to pushing the car to all the limits to find, you know, the millimeters uh, to the walls. Because you have to use uh, all of the track, all of the track possible, but if you exceed your limit by one little percent, you risk of destroying the car, spinning, losing it. Uh, this time, you know, I was not in my, uh, I was not prepared for this track. Oh, so <laughs> every single one lap, when you uh, approach, um, approach it is very safe. Ooh. Oh, David Ooh. also have a bit sketchy. Uh, that we can say that this is the most difficult track on the for on many the definitely. For me, if I like the track, it means that it's not that difficult. You know. Uh, okay. Because it's hard to, for me, it's hard to like the track that you feel that it's very difficult, in my opinion. Because in uh, many, uh, for, for many uh, drivers, Bathurst is definitely one of, if not, the hardest circuit. For me, it's not because I love it, how, uh, how I approach it, because how confident and fast I feel on this track. Uh, but yeah, overall, looking at how tight the track is, Ooh. how difficult are the corners, this definitely is one of the hardest tracks. What happens if I go, I stay here in the middle of the track? You remember Hamus and you also, Camille, what happens if you, with the <laughs> Ferrari, you stay here in this part of the track and you approach the next corner? Nothing, nothing. Nothing. No, 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 nothing. <laughs> but stay on the left. Okay, <laughs> it's okay. important to stay. I will bring it home. Let's, yeah. let's explain <laughs> to our viewers. There's a tricky bump that if you take in Ferrari, uh, because it's a middle engine car, mm -hmm. the risk of uh, you know bumping on uh, on this one and just losing the car. Yeah, it's, uh, it's right. almost impossible to to recover the car. Yeah. It it feels like the best overtaking opportunity there, but <laughs> yes, but you if can't you don't go. know about this bump, you risk about losing the race. I How think you won the challenge, David. Two two or seven point four. Two point seven. Two or seven point four. Okay, so we are, proud of we are uh, one, so the one each, literally. So the thing is, uh, do uh, the lap later. Hmm? Okay, so yeah, yeah, make right. the lap later. later. So <laughs> next, next time, time we will confirm or we You were learning start. by watching me. No, no, right. next time uh, you, you, the, the next guy will be blind, <laughs> blinded, because it's impossible. That's actually so cool. you, won, you, won, you won this. Oh, this yes. is Thank amazing. You. This is the best trophy I've ever earned in sim racing yes at least is the is a one 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 scale <laughs> very cute can i put water in this will it grow even if it's plastic <laughs> no it's not if how it works no? I'm not sure. no? <laughs> plastic doesn't grow. you can put ballast if you want oh. uh, do you oh. have ballast for the yes, event 15. unfortunately oh, 15 kilos i know i'm not surprised at that <laughs> <laughs> i know but <laughs> for the viewers oh, we have okay. 15 kilos uh, well if i remember correctly it's 15 kilos ferrari 20 McLaren and 20 Audi as oh, well. Yeah. I mean, you are afraid we will of the other competitor? Afraid? Yeah, afraid. S of course, scared. yes. <laughs> Always and never. Like, you know, sometimes you think you will beat them all, but other uh, and the other day you think you're afraid of everyone. Afraid because especially you don't know the pace of others. So yes. you, don't if you, you don't know if you will be easily uh, challenging on the top or you will struggle. So... But you are happy to see the other your rivals that you normally see just uh, virtual. Yeah, I mean it's always a great opportunity to meet and to talk to each other, to you know, to to, to meet the guys uh, in person. It's a great experience. It's another good point of uh, life events that you travel, that you uh, meet the people, that you you know explore the good tracks, the good uh, countries. This is why, yeah, it, it's one of the reasons that I really love the, the, the life even for. For you? I would so? be happy even to meet my worst rival and my worst enemy even in real life. Because uh, real life racing, Let's even if it's see. still sim racing, it's better. Like Let's racing see. from home uh, literally kills sim racing, in my opinion. So going uh, on an on site event, even if you have, uh, as I said, the uh, Worst, uh, the worst person in the world, the worst <laughs> enemy, it's still uh, better than racing uh, against him in, uh, exactly. in remote. I agree with you, but you know, sim racing is starting online. Yes, I agree. It's online. I agree, but I say, uh, in my opinion, it has to be remote and online 
if you are having fun. As soon as it starts to be a competition, a real competition with money and uh, with sponsor and everything involved, it has to be on site. Mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, it cannot be online anymore. Yes, there's a price. If there's a good price pool, why not? Yes. Okay. At least this is the thing that we are not different in, that we both <laughs> uh, really enjoy and prefer uh, racing live than, than online. But exactly. you prefer the, uh, your equipments, you can take, you can bring your equipments, or it's okay, whatever. Uh, I mean, it's fine both ways. If we bring our equipments, uh, of course, there is a um, less chance that you are not going to adapt well or that you're going to adapt better than others. Uh, so in my opinion, from my experience, I only did uh, like a full championship. I only did two, I think, uh, two and some events, SRO events. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always had uh, different equipment from, from, from home. And uh, to be honest, uh, even if you find something else, the team just provides you the, the stuff that you will find in the, in, the, in the arena and that's it, you train with that and doesn't make that much of difference. So find both ways, to be honest. For me, it's uh, like, as David said, uh, but I actually prefer to have what they give. Uh, so don't bring my cockpit there. It's not that I don't like my cockpit, I love my <laughs> cockpit and I prefer to race on them, but uh, the thing that um, I adapt really fast to the new stuff, so after 30 minutes okay. of driving on any rig, I don't care anymore uh, on what uh, equipment do I drive, I just focus on bringing the best possible laps like at home, but it can be a disadvantage for others that doesn't feel as confident uh, on adapting really fast to the mm -hmm. environment, so... I 100% agree. B I mean, I, I said that uh, I wouldn't mind both, but mm -hmm. uh, as uh, you have this uh, particular skill of adapting very fast, I feel I have the same, so... Well, we will see, <laughs> we will see. <laughs> but uh, fr time. from my experience, uh, um, even uh, in the past years, with, uh, when I, w I was not in Ferrari still, uh, we were doing some competitions together with the other, uh, uh, other um, brands, uh, yes. other cars, other mm -hmm. brands. And uh, every time I was improving my best lap on site compared to what I was <laughs> doing uh, uh, from yes, home. Yes. And the same thing happened also in F1 Esports. I still remember the pole lap in, uh, in Silverstone in 2019. I literally gave one tenth and a half to, to the second, which uh, now it's literally from P1 to P20. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember I, I was so damn happy about it because it was my, my PB during the, my whole training. So that's... Uh, uh, which track was? Silverstone. Silverstone. It was Silverstone. I I enjoyed it so so much. I I still remember that. Ah, really good. But now is the final part of the show. We are in the final part of the show. Final segment. Story time. So, Camilla, I ask you uh, on that on uh, on David and to First David coming. and. You said Camille first. Uh, so <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> first th that's Camille. why I was confusing. I, I say Camille, but okay. Uh, I asked to uh, David and Brandon. Uh, how was the weekend? And how was your weekend here in Italy? Well, really hot, really hot, <laughs> really hot. Last <laughs> really everyone hot. said. Really uh, to be honest, <laughs> nothing really spectacular happened. I was resting and not doing too much. Uh, of super interesting stuff that I would like to be very eager to, to you know, share with everyone. <laughs> but it's a good thing. Uh, I, I want to mention one thing that happened uh, two weeks ago for me, which is worth sharing. I was on a Pearl Jam concert in Krakow on a famous Tauron Arena. Uh, Pearl Jam is a very famous uh, grand. Pearl Jam. Yes, Pearl Jam. Uh, the, um, the very famous grand really? and rock band that started playing in the uh, early 90s. And after 30 years of concerting, playing, they still rock. They still own. They mm. are freaking amazing. The energy, uh, the power of the music and um, on, uh, on this uh, particular uh, place, the Tauron Arena, which is a very great uh, place to make concerts, very huge one, uh, with lighting and great audio. Uh, it was amazing experience. Wow. It which is your favorite song of, on, or for them? Many ones, but Yellow Led Better, Black, Alive, and Even Flow. This is my... Even uh, Flow. Even uh, Flow, uh, yeah. That's a I think even these flow. are my four favorite ones. Ah. 
<laughs> this is great. And what about you? You spend the weekend uh, uh, with the AC, <laughs> and we, we know that. But I, uh, I literally have nothing to compete against what uh, what he <laughs> said now because this weekend I, I, I you know, I finished my day on uh, on Friday, uh, my long day of training because I I. I kept on training also with uh, with our engineer Andrea yeah, also absolutely. after after dinner, and uh, I said Saturday okay I, I I want to train a bit more because we have Monza also coming in the yeah. in the calendar mm -hmm. for the last days of so I said okay let's start uh, training uh, I mean there is not that much of time so let's practice more. Mm -hmm. Saturday I was literally dead. With that temperature, I, li I literally stayed on the bed the whole day, and uh, luckily s on Sunday after the F1 race I found. Uh, uh, motivation to get back on the sim again, but uh, nothing to mention. What I can mention is that tomorrow I will have a long trip, five hours of trip, uh, because uh, I have some business to do in uh, in Rome, and uh, I will meet my parents as well when coming back. But uh, it's going to be in the same days, four hours to go, and then four hours to come back, of course. I, it's not a good thing, but something mentioned uh, worth to share to everyone. <laughs> Yeah, but it can, it can be also good things. I hope so. For, I hope for, I hope for you. So it's let, time let's for your story, Emma. Let's remember. Yes. Uh, <laughs> How was your I, weekend? Uh, you were not. Oh, prepared, where please. I I I was in Rome. I I parked the, the some business stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> for, for some business stuff. I parked the car in a uh, in a wrong spot, but. <laughs> luckily, <laughs> luckily no, well. no one, uh, no, no one, one scratched your car. No, no one scratched the car, and uh, no one. Um, I, I didn't get a fine, so yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> don't do it this at home. And no, uh, with your car. And Sunday, I was enjoying the the race uh, after the live streaming on here on Twitch. Ah, yes, and there was a um, hap a birthday of my best friend. That's yeah, cool. so I came back really and really, really late at home. And my cat's waiting for me, waiting for the dinner. Oh, <laughs> uh, forgot to mention that it's hot. That yes, it's hot. hot. It's hot. It's hot. We hot. didn't but say it during the live stream. We forgot <laughs> but the it's whole time. with 17 degrees in the car, it's amazing. <laughs> yes. Let's stay in the car forever. And the day after, you start to cough, you start to no, feel you, your throat. You, you, because I, I don't have problem. You have problem <laughs> I'm time. completely fine, as you can see. Now, I can breathe normally. Let's see tomorrow. I, I, I have nothing. <laughs> I'm, I'm COVID free, no. flu free, <laughs> fever free, everything free. I don't have Yeah, yeah for, this is good, but you have more problems. Unless than you me. start coughing uh, the day after tomorrow. You will fly to Belgium, mate. Yes. Belgium is. It's 40 degrees, 20 degrees. And there is mm -hmm. also AC in the airplane, which will kill our <laughs> necks, because usually the AC goes straight to the neck. You can <laughs> cut the. AC yes, but it's going to be too hot. So you start <laughs> to sweat, then you turn on, you, you get killed. <laughs> That's how it works. You, you need to balance the, <laughs> the AC also there on the plane. Thank you guys for um, for this. And it was really a pleasure also this time. Uh, I don't know the next time, the next episode when uh, we'll, uh, we will be all together. I hope really soon. Sure, surely after the holiday. Yes, you will go. You will fly. We will go on the holiday. But we interrupt you during the holiday. I will interrupt. I will literally throw the phone in the sea so yes, that you will not mode. interrupt. <laughs> airplane mode. Thank you, David. Thank you, Camille. Thank you to Brandon and to Arthur. Arturo. Arthur. 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 <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> and see you next. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, guys. <laughs>